Well, not too long afterwards, you end up at, in fact, Daimler Chrysler and their yes. advanced product design studio, chief designer. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, you're doing things, you're overseeing things like minivan stow and go. I yeah. mean, if, there, if there is not a larger <laughs> cultural car influence than stow and go, there are a lot of moms and dads out there who thank you today. Yeah. And you know, it's funny on, on the surface of it, you wouldn't think that that was um, a design initiative. You would think it was more of a, of a uh, engineering right? product planning or initial or a uh, engineering initiative. Uh, but in addition to doing all the size and proportion work, when you're in a, an advanced studio and trying to come up with the character for the brand, you also work hand in hand with engineering on anything that affects the architecture of the vehicle. So the stow and go was an idea that just came out of our studio. In fact, it came out in the, what they called the RS minivan. It was basically a mid cycle enhancement of an existing van. They put that seat set into it. But this, the idea for stow and go was really not supposed to come out until the 08 body refresh, which we were doing in our studio. So we were creating the new body and this new feature that we came up with in our studio. Dieter Zetcha at the time, who was the CEO, liked the idea so much that he had engineering retrofitted into the existing vehicle. Hmm. So, uh, but it was tough, you know, working with seating suppliers, that was a really complicated uh, tear up to the underbody of the vehicle, um, getting the seating position correct, um, you know, ensuring that all the materials and so forth looked and felt the way they should. Yeah, that was, that was a big one. It wasn't a glamorous one, but it was an important one. It's an important one. Exactly right. Yeah.